when you're walking up 18 or you're letting Tiger walk up 18 at the Open Championship, you know it's been a struggle. You've seen it firsthand. What is your role? And then you got to get Tiger kind of back into the moment here of, you know, let's finish this off in style. Yeah, well, my, my first point is to stay the right or stay behind and let him enjoy the moment. You know, he, he appreciated that moment um, a bunch. You know, he, he gets the history of golf. He loves St. Andrews. He loves everything about the golf tournament. Um, the fact that he won there twice, the home of golf, the whole nine yards. I mean, part of him obviously is very disappointed the way he played. He's nine over par. That's not the way he wants to finish up on a Friday afternoon. He'd prefer it to be Sunday afternoon in contention. I get that part of it. But he's, he's smart enough, and now he's old enough and wise enough to appreciate the moment, the standing ovation on both sides, the whole nine yards, give him the, the tip of the hat over the bridge. It was a phenomenal moment. Um, you know, like I said, it would be one thing if we're trying to make the cut. Yeah, you got to get back there, and you don't want to embarrass yourself. He had a good chip with a four and up there about three and a half, four feet, and then obviously you're hoping he makes the cut, which he doesn't. But it didn't ruin the moment. I thought it was a fantastic moment for him in golf. When did you realize that you weren't going to be competitive at the Open Championship? Um, well, it's it's – you know, it's one of those things where we just never got anything going the first day. Um, it wasn't like he played poorly. Obviously, he made double on the first hole, hitting the divot. No excuse. He's hitting divots before. Um, but the putting just didn't seem to be. The short game wasn't quite there. I think he's working so hard to get stronger and healthier. You know, he's working on his long game. He's working on his endurance. And I just think the short game has been neglected a little bit at this point, And that showed over there. Um, but you never give up. You know, we're sitting there six over par on the first tee, the second day. You're still thinking you can shoot six under par and make the cut, you know, the putt's going to be even par. Um, so you're still optimistic, but then we got to the turn at, you know, seven or eight over, you knew it was over. So you just try to enjoy the last nine holes.